right, welcome back cameras and Mr. McDaniel. Welcome back to camp. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time it is you're viewing this video, welcome. And I'm so glad to see you. And we're going right back into algebra, ninth and 12th grade. Hey, you guys, remember all you campers, if you're just signing in or maybe you've already been in camp, please remember to go back and take care of your pre-test. It's assigned from week two, day one. And I'm going to remind you in class to make sure you get that done because we want to be able to compare your numbers to see how much work you've put in based upon when you started camp and how much you've been sharpening your brain, your mind, creating that pathway in your mind regarding doing more and more problems. I'm looking at your IXL numbers. I see those numbers are exploding. They're off the charts. You guys are mastering a number of different uh, skills in particular related to math. You're doing a great job in reading also. I love that also. You guys are high flyers and you should look forward and be excited about really sharpening your mind. And we want to sharpen our mind today by multiplying binomials. In the last video, we did distributed property, but we want to touch on the foil technique because I want to let you know the benefits and the limitations of using the foil technique when solving and multiplying binomials. So it's important that you understand that you can use the FOIL technique. And let's look at, let's write an example right quick. 4a plus 2 is our first binomial and times a plus 4. So when you read this, let's keep thinking in the algebra mindset. The coefficient here is 4, the variable here is a, but this really says 1a to the first power plus the constant of two, and this is one a to the first power plus the constant of four. So if you say this over and over again, your brain will automatically read it and see it and help you process information uh, much more efficiently and, and quickly. So we wanna think about the rules regarding distributive property, because even when you're using a four technique, you're really using distributive property, because you're taking whatever I hear and distributing it in there. But with the four technique, the F, the, the F stands for first. So the first thing you want to do is take 4a and multiply it by the first term there. So it'll be 4a times a. That's first. Then you have outside. So this is outside and that's outside. So the outside will be 4a times 4. And we'll solve for the products of each one of these in just a moment. But we're going to keep writing it out. Then we have the inside for i. This is, this is inside and that's inside. So 2 times a. And then we have last. This 2 is last in this binomial and that 4 is last there. So we have 2 times 4. So we have last. And I'll write out last and you have 2 times 4. Let's get a product of each one, then we'll rewrite it out right here from left to right. Starting with first, this one's next, and that one, and that one, using the four technique. So 4a times a is really four times one, which is four, and a times a, which is a squared, because that's a one there, and that's a one there. Remember, we add the exponent when multiplying bases. So that's one plus one, which gives us two. And then we have 4a here times four, or just four times four gives us 16, and then we have an A right there. So then we have the inside two times A gives us two A, and then we have last two times four, which gives us eight. And now when we write this out, we'll write it out as four A squared plus 16 A plus two A plus eight. Are we finished? Are we finished class? No, we're not because we have like terms. And remember, we're simplifying. So when we're simplifying, we want to make sure we combine everything that's alike. So we have 4a squared there. Nothing's like that. But we have 16a plus 2a, which that gives us then 4a squared plus 18a plus 8 as the constant. And there is our simplified answer. 4a squared plus 18a plus 8. Using the FOIL technique. So in the last video, we used the straight distributed property. And the reason why you want to be able to use distributed property because the four technique is limited to just being able to use on binomials. Can't use it on polynomials and so trinomials. So therefore, the distributed property works across the board, works both ways, works for all of those types of problems. So I look forward to seeing your class. You're going to practice this on the Z8 under multiplying binomials under 912 ninth and 12th grade algebra. So I'm Mr. McDaniel. This week is Nature Week. I look forward to seeing you in class and have a great day.